snow is one of the best things about winter. And even if it's not your thing, it's going to be hanging around West Michigan for a while. So the best thing is just embrace it. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of it around. And so Andrea, our executive producer, has come in. He's got some cool activities that you can do at home with real snow. Hi, Andrea. Hi, how are you guys? Good. We've got Good. lots of fun art projects here. Well, we did. And we already we went outside and we played in the snow. And one of the things you can do with your kids may be a super cold day out. But the thing is, you can actually bring snow inside and have fun with it. Yeah. So one idea actually is to do snow painting. So you can actually take just a tray that you have at home, go outside and get a bunch of snow and just put it right there on your tray. Then from there, using simple watercolors, all you can do is just dip in and then you can actually paint really pretty and colorful Aww. pictures onto your snow. Talk That's, about a watercolor. Right. Right. And very simple. And like I said, it's one of those things where the kids can just have fun and explore and paint anything they want and make this their canvas of choice. Yeah, have art supply. Yeah, canvases are expensive. <laughs> they that's are. that's a lot. There's plenty of that for free right out my back door. Right. And you don't like it? You take it, toss it out, go get some, <laughs> go get some more and start all over again. I mean, over and over and over again. <laughs> exactly. All right, perfect. Next thing, too, if you have there's some beautiful white snow, you want to add maybe a little color to brighten up that dreary day. Something really simple you can do is go to the dollar store and just get a bunch of these spray water bottles, okay? Mm -hmm. Fill it up with water. Michelle, what color of food coloring do you want? Uh, do you want to make your snow today? Let's do red. Do red? Okay, just put some drops in there. All right. Is this for indoors or outdoors? This is probably for outdoors okay. if you want to go outdoors and do it, but we're just going to show everyone. So basically, Sounds you're just going to have a bunch of bottles. You're going to take a bunch of the colors that you want to do. All right, and then it actually becomes like a spray bottle. So you can spray, and then you're going to start eventually once the colors mix in, and mm -hmm. you'll start getting colors. There it is. There it is and you'll start getting colors on the snow. So this is a fun way to go outside and to be able to add some different colors and be creative that way as well. So once again, really simple project. It's a spray bottle, which probably most people may have at home, if not a dollar sure. store, and just a bunch of different food colorings. To yeah, do. food colorings or water colors. Simple, easy. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this one I actually have um, a photograph or a picture of. Why not embrace the different snowflakes and actually take pictures of them? So oh. here, as you can see, all you need to do is go outside a black construction piece of paper. Okay. Let the snow fall on because as you guys know, each snowflake is individual to itself with the crystals. And then take a close up of it with your camera, your phone, and then have these really cute pieces of art that you can display throughout your house throughout the winter. Did you do that? I photo? love that. Yeah. Who did that? Was, you did it? I did. That was your photo? I did, yeah. What did you what camera did you use? And to be honest with you, that one I did with one of my other cameras. Okay. Like, as, more of a zoom, yeah. as more okay. of a zoom lens. Because that's amazing. Yeah. Right, but those are things that you can just be creative with and to another way to like enjoy nature and enjoy the snow. So check them all out. Check I, don't them all you know, out. I don't know if you saw it earlier, there was a macro photography contest. We're going full circle. <laughs> yeah. You should get in on that. That's right. Exactly. Oh. Um, the other thing too that we just wanted to talk about is the snowman. All right. Now normally you get really sad when you see your snowman melt. But this may be a really cool project to show your kids just how you can take liquid and how it goes and turns into vapor. So literally have your children just make a small little mini snowman. And I want to give a quick shout out to our intern, Frankie. Good job, I, 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 I gave Frankie the project of putting this together for So thank you. But yeah, it's just a simple thing of actually taking it, putting it outside, maybe on your front porch, and just seeing how nature works and how you start from a solid and how it goes into water vapor and turns into gas. So just a small, simple science experiment, too, that you can do with the snowman. I love it. My kids Cute. are already familiar with gas. So, but the liquid and the solid. Liquid and right. I'm a, I'm a dad. Right. You got you your know. solids here. Close into liquids. There you go. I have a okay. reputation to avoid. Yeah, right. Well, All right. I have a paintbrush. And, and finally okay, today, I'm going to pull yeah. this one too. I, not okay. everybody, you know, wants to go outside. So maybe this is more for the indoor <laughs> crowd, so to speak. My wife. All right. There you go. Yes. That we can still do snow. So all we're going to do is we're going to take one part of white glue. This is like a school glue. Okay. All right. So we're going to put that in I'm there. I'm intrigued. I know. All right. I know. Are we making snow? We're making oh. snow, yep. And then after that, you're going to use shaving cream and two parts of shaving cream. So we're just going to put it all in there. Okay. <laughs> just like that. All right. all right, go ahead. He wants to be able to stir. Just, stir. Really, yeah, just sure. really good stir. Really okay. good stir. Really good stir. Get that all in there. There you go. Make it to it. And see, notice how it starts to come and it starts to puff up a little bit like yeah. that. So then basically at that point, to some extent, it's a puffy paint. Oh my gosh, oh, so fun. So then you can take it and just dab a little bit or grab your paintbrush there. It, go for it, go and for it. And then you can start kind of designing, like you could do little pop-ups and you could do a little snowman. You could do snowflakes. Oh, exactly. 
And then at some point too, once it dries, if you want to add color to it, once again, you can take your watercolors that you have down here and you can adjust and do whatever you'd like to do. So once again, this is for the crowd that might want to stay indoors, but you can still bring the snow indoors with our little snow paint. Could you put food coloring in there? And you could put food coloring in okay. that as well, exactly, to change I'm up the colors. I'm blue glitter. And have multiple, oh, yeah. I'm seeing a whole scene here now. A whole, a whole, a whole scene, exactly, of winter. I don't mind getting messy. I love this. Angel, yes. these are so much fun. I love it. Yeah, so we're going to have all of these on our website, just okay. fox17morningmix.com, where people can check it out. And also, too, if they've got any snow ideas for us, we'd love for them to share, too. Yes, we want your crafty ideas, so send them in to us. We need to keep keep busy this That's long right. winter exactly. now that it's finally arrived. <laughs> All right, thanks, eh? And thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, Todd. All right, thanks. thanks. So Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. I'm going to get you. <laughs>